Dylan has never had to batch cook ever because he never had a real job. He always did this cushy work from home stuff where he could just hop into the kitchen whenever he wants and prepare a meal. People like us have to food prep for the week ahead. So I wanted to show him how to batch cook my favorite meal that I ate for weeks at a time. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. I'm here with Rebecca. Reeves. And she's gonna show me how to batch prep. It's She's a liar though. I do batch cook. I make big one pot meals that are super delicious that I can enjoy for numerous days at a time. Except you eat them all in one night. That's true, I do tend to eat them in one night, but the plan is to have leftovers and then to eat them, okay, I get your point. But I used to do it that way where I would batch cook big stews and chilies and bring them to work or have them after work, but it just gets boring. The thing I like about batch cooking ingredients like this and leaving them in the fridge is you can pull them out of the fridge and mix and match them into different meals throughout the week. Okay, so tell me what you're gonna teach me and then I'm gonna make it and blow your mind with how much better at making it than you are. <laughs> I put a little bit of wild rice on a plate with some steamed greens, sauteed mushrooms, cooked tomatoes, a little dollop of hummus on top, and if I'm feeling extra fancy, half of an avocado. Okay, I think that's all the information I need. I'm ready to go. All right, y'all, let's blow our mind. This is super simple, so I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble at all putting this together. Let's start with the rice. This is the rice that Reeves likes that we buy at Trader Joe's sometimes. You can, make, you can just use a mix of brown rice and wild rice or whatever rice you like. It doesn't really matter, but this has long grain brown rice, black barley, and daikon radish seeds, which I've been playing around with lately. I can't explain it. They're like a little flavor pop. I don't know how they came up with it, but they were right. So we're gonna use a cup of that. Okay, in goes a cup of the brown rice medley, yay. Then I've got a cup of regular old wild rice. Ooh, it looks nice. Okay, then I'm gonna throw in two and a half cups of water. I'm using boiling water just because it'll heat up the Instant Pot a little bit faster. Either way, two cups of rice, two and a half cups of water, and then we're gonna do 22 minutes on high pressure natural release, all right? Let's get it going. All right, let's just set this thing aside and we'll come back to it as soon as it's ready to go. All right, then I've got a whole pound of mushrooms. These are the baby Bellas. You could use the white button mushrooms, whatever kind of mushroom you like. I love these. We're just gonna chop them up. We're gonna saute them. Here we go. I like to just take the mushroom, cut it in half like this, half again, and then just chop away. Okay, there we go. We got our pound of mushrooms, our pound of tomatoes. Those are ready for the stove. I've got a bag of spinach. No, that's kale. I've got a bag of kale, all chopped, rinsed, ready to go. A bag of spinach. We're gonna steam those on the stove, but first, let's make that hummus. This is a super simple hummus. We're just gonna take two cans of no salt added garbanzo beans. One of the two, I drained out the liquid already, so I'll throw that in, and then the other one, we're throwing it in liquid aquafaba and all. All right, and to that, we're gonna throw in the juice of half of one lemon. Okie doke. Three cloves of garlic going in. We need a teaspoon of cumin I'm gonna throw in, and that's it. Let's let it rip. Okay, there we go. Nice looking, super simple hummus. Let's have a taste. Nope, it needs more lemon. Let's get the rest of this lemon in there. I'm gonna hit it with another teaspoon of cumin too, because it just doesn't quite taste strong enough. Let it rip. Okay, let's see if that's better. It is definitely a low fat hummus. I mean, I haven't put in any tahini. If you want a couple tablespoons of tahini in there, that'll definitely make it richer. This is super simple. We're gonna be using some avocado on top when we put it all together. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. Simple, plain, you got it. Okay, let's throw this into one of our Tupperware containers for the week. All right, our hummus is ready to go. We'll be back for that in a few minutes. Let's hit the stove, shall we? Okay, here we go. Reeves likes these tomatoes whole, so we're just gonna saute them whole and keep them stirring, add a little bit of water. There we go. Meanwhile, over here, I've got my little steamer basket in here with a little bit of water underneath, and let's throw these greens on there. This is gonna shrink. <laughs> Making a mess. Spinach, oh yeah. Just, apparently we're gonna get it everywhere. Oh yeah, party time. All right, close it up. We're just gonna give that like three, four minutes, whatever, we'll see. Tomatoes, keep them stirring. We're kind of steaming the tomatoes, you know what I'm saying? Let's cover this for just a couple of minutes. All right, let's check these tomatoes. Ooh, they're looking nice. Let's keep the lid off and let the water evaporate a little bit. All right, our steamed greens are looking very nice. I think they're about done. The spinach stuck together a little, but we'll toss it up 
No worries, it's all good. Kill the heat on that. Let's keep these tomatoes turning. Oh yeah. All right, tomatoes done. Mushrooms in the pot, here we go. I'm gonna give these mushrooms just a little shot of water. Let's get them started to grab some of those tomato juices off of there too. Those will be nice. I feel like we need a little something in these mushrooms, so I'm gonna get some black pepper going in there. I just wanted to toss this to kind of mix the kale and the spinach together a little bit, just fluffing it. We'll just let the rest of this water evaporate off and these mushrooms will be good to go. Kill the heat. Okay, looks good. My girlfriend is weird. What am I missing? Okay, let's get the rice. Oh yeah. That was the easy part. Now for the part where we actually have to plate it and make it look presentable. I have no idea how Rebecca used to do this, so we're winging it. Oh, it's beautiful. Check it out. Just give it a little stir to mix the two types of rice together. And as you can see, that looks totally Perfect, beautiful. Let's pour our rice into our Tupperware, because remember, this is batch prep, so this is gonna go in the fridge, but we are gonna put a plate together for Reeves. Mushrooms, ready to go. So we got the hummus, we got the rice, we got the mushrooms. Let's get these greens, and one more for the tomatoes. All right, we've got it all in our Tupperware containers. Let's put this thing together like I think maybe Rebecca used to do it. I don't really know. We're kind of winging it. I would want, if it were me, I would want lots of starch. I feel like this is not enough rice for an entire week, but whatever, if that's what she wants, that's what she gets. So I'm gonna go rice right in the middle. I have no idea. We'll see what happens. A nice helping of rice right in the middle, okay? Okay, now it's time for some greens. Again, let's just go around the side here. Oh, that looks pretty. Okay, I think that's right. How about some tomatoes? Again, I feel like that is not enough tomato. That was a whole pound of tomatoes. Then some mushrooms. These mushrooms smell amazing. I know they're gonna be really good. I feel like the bowl is not full. Did I use too big of a bowl? How much can a regular person eat in a week? Maybe I should like center it better. Okay, hummus. How about a dollop of this delightful hummus right on top in the middle. Clearly I am an Instagram star with my plating. A little bit of avocado. We'll just kinda slice it. We'll dice it, we'll go both ways. We'll go both directions. And now maybe a quarter of an avocado, slightly off-centered on top of the hummus. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. And then how about a little drizzle of balsamic vinegar. Oh, just like that. If there's a spice blend you like, maybe you can put a little bit of some kind of a spice blend. I'm gonna just sprinkle on a little bit of Cajun seasoning, actually, is what I chose to go with. And uh, we'll see what she thinks. This looks delightful to me. I don't care if Reeves likes it or not. This is a winner. Okay, looks good. Reeves! She's coming. Bring a ding 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 dinner bell, Reeves. Let's go. Reeves! Okay. <laughs> You made it. <gasps> wow. Today, is this, what it, is this what it looked like? What do you think? It is pretty darn close. It looks pretty legit. I thought it was really cool that you cooked the mushrooms in the old tomatoes. Tomato pot. Yeah, I never did it like that, and I think mm. that's pretty awesome. Okay. And then I also didn't know that you could put the boiling water into the Instant Pot to make it go faster. It went super fast. Yeah, the Instant Pot heats water very slowly and gets up to temperature so slowly. So I always have, if I'm making starch blaster or whatever, I'll use the kettle water because it's already, half the work is done. You know what would be really good on top of this is a little bit of my brand new Well Your World Sweet Mustard Dressing. It is super delicious, just watch. I'm drizzling it all over everything. I'm not gonna overdo it, just a little bit. Goes a long way, if you might. For me. <laughs> Go taste it. I want. I want you to taste it. I want to know if this hummus is how you would make it because oh. it's it's a little bit plain for me, but I like it. Go on. So good. Is it? Yeah. What's good about it? So Reeves, look me in the eye. Did I do a good job of this? You did such a good job that you can do this every week for me now. Oh, genius. <laughs> I get what this whole thing was now. So do try this meal out for yourselves. I think you'll really enjoy it. Thank you, Reeves, for the great idea. Thanks for trying it. My pleasure. If you like to see Dylan make recipes that I came up with, join us. <laughs> How rude. Join us for a live cooking show. Everybody's hanging out in the chat box, having a good time. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Reebs. Bye. Set the knife down. I'm practicing saying it. In. <sighs>
like when they're in yoga and they're like, now breathe with your ujjayi breath so your neighbors can hear you. And they're like, ah! 